design, and that's one of the big things you'll notice within our resort. It's very, very elegant, but we've hidden a lot of Disney into it as well. My favorite thing about this carpet before we go inside is that we do, of course, have Mickey over here. Naturally, we always have to have hidden Mickeys. But on the opposite side, Mickey's not alone. He has a partner, and it's Minnie. So we have a hidden Minnie over here as well with her bow adorning the top of her head. So it's really, really cool. Of course, as we know, Minnie is a captain now, so she needs to get that respect as well. But they always stick together. They are a pair. So let's head on in. We're going to go into our one-bedroom villa right now. Enjoy. Come on in. Gather around the living room, y'all. Come on in, we're gonna gather right in the living room. So now I can officially say, Welcome to my house, everybody. This is where I sleep every single night. Now, uh, welcome to our one-bedroom villa. Now, inside of our one-bedroom villa, you're going to notice that it is extremely spacious. But I do want to point out a, full, a few things to you. First of all, of course, like you've known from our other Disney Vacation Club uh, resorts and our different accommodations, a one-bedroom villa does always come with a full-size kitchen, which you will see right behind you over there as well as a living room area that does transform, and we'll go over that in just a moment. But I want to point out my favorite thing about the one-bedroom villa, and that's right over here. So this actual dining area uh, may look familiar because we do have dining areas in our other resorts as well. However, I love detail. Detail, 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 and efficiency are the most important things in my life. So behind it, it actually has my favorite pattern you'll find in the rooms. Now, it might just look a little orange to you, orange and white. However, it is actually stitched in with the design of the resort itself. You can see our tower studio over here with that soon-to-be-famous RR symbol. You can see the actual pool area here overlooking the Caribbean, all of the different areas of the resort. But also, this is not just a seating area. This is also a storage area. We have tons and tons in store of storage throughout our Riviera rooms. This is my particularly favorite spot because it's the living room. It's the play area. If you're traveling with kids, they're gonna have toys. They're gonna have things like that. They could store them in here. You could pack them away and you don't have to see them until the next day when they go to play with them as well. Now, if you turn this way, I did say the living room does transform. It's not just a place that you could sit, relax, enjoy, and watch TV. Of course, it is also a place where people can sleep. Now, our one-bedroom villa does sleep five, plus an infant, um, and three of those people will sleep in this actual living room area. Now, you may be familiar with our other properties and how we always have a nice pull-down Murphy bed in our other properties. Well... If you turn around right over here, we are still including that. It's extremely famous. All of our members and their kids do fight over that bed. Uh, it is extremely comfortable. And you'll see that in the background over here, uh, Mickey and Pluto are relaxing right on the Riviera. But this go around, everyone's talking about a different kind of bed. So of course that is where one person can sleep throughout the night. It is extremely comfortable. However, that different kind of bed that I'm talking about is right behind me. Now, of course, we have our couch area where you can sit, relax, enjoy, watch TV. But at nighttime, when it's time to go to sleep, it's time to transform. So all you would simply do, if you would assist me with this, Miss Kim, is you would grab the handlebar, pull right on down, and now you have a bed for two others to sleep on. Now, the cool thing about this is it's an actual mattress. So you're not worrying about that uncomfortable couch bed that you would have to pull out and things like that. And the beauty of it is, again, and I'm sorry if I'm talking about storage again, but there's a lot of storage space in here, y'all. Storage space right behind the actual bed and a really cool and unique feature as well. How many of you have been in a room and you've had to charge your phone on the opposite side of the actual room? And at nighttime, the phone starts ringing. It's dark. You don't want to wake anyone up and you have to walk over to that. 
Not anymore, y'all. Because right next to the bed, right next to where you rest your head, you're going to have both the wall sockets and the USB charging sockets so that you could go ahead and you could charge your phones. Now, while we're in here, I do want to talk about the artwork okay. and the design Actually, of... Oh, you don't mind. Well, of I course. I have the bed down. I want to point Ooh. out another feature. Um, yes, I love this. <laughs> the tables, the end tables, we've designed them so that when you're in the bed, you can slide them around and they nest up over the cushion so that when you're in the bed, you have a place to actually put your drink or whatever, so it's like a nightstand. I love so. that. Y'all have fallen even more in love with Riviera. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that at all. That is awesome. Thank you for that. Yep. And then, of course, in the morning, rather than having to worry about throwing around all the sheets, getting that bed put together, and worrying about how on earth do I pack this back into a couch, very simple, y'all. All you do is lift and sit. That is all you actually have to do when it comes to this. But we do have a very unique art program when it comes to Riviera as well. So I am going to pass on over to Missy. She is going to tell you a little bit about the artwork you can find throughout the entire resort, not just in the rooms, but of course in our uh, grand lobby as well. Hey everyone, so I'm going to jump in real quick as well. In addition to Misty, we have Kim joining us today. We're very excited you're having the opportunity to come and visit us at our model rooms for Disney's Riviera Resort. I'm Brandon. I work with Walt Disney Imagineering. Um, and later today, we'll also have the opportunity to, to hear from Missy, who's the art director on the program. So as you saw from Anthony, there's a lot of intentional design details that we absolutely love about these rooms. Um, and these two are the ones to talk to um, as you have the chance to walk around and get some more content as you hear today. Missy Renard, again, our art director, and Kim Brunson, our interior design manager. So Missy, if you could tell us a little more about that art program, it's something I'm very excited about. Yes, we have over 40 pieces of custom art uh, throughout the resort that reflect the rich work uh, art heritage that is found in the Riviera region. So in the, um, the villas here, we can see that we've got a Cubist-inspired uh, Beauty and the Beast piece, we've got some uh, line sketches of Mickey and Minnie, and then we have a watercolor of uh, Mickey and Minnie from the Brave Little Tailor. Over in the corner, we have a, another still life of a painting of apples with, um, with Remy baking an apple pie. And then behind uh, Brandon over there on, on the, um, the sleeper, we went back to that idea of the vintage cartoons and we placed uh, Mickey and Pluto along the Riviera taking a seaside nap. So throughout the rooms we have the different kinds of um, art that reflect that. So we have anything from um, vintage uh, travel posters to collage cutouts to more oil paintings and then also some concept art that came from um, our Disney films. Nice. Thank you, Missy. Thank you. Surprise, I'm behind you now. Um, so we are going to walk quickly through this area over here, and then you're going to be free to roam around if you do have any questions or anything like that. Both Kim and Missy are in here for you, but let's head on into the bedroom, everybody. Come on in, come on in. Now, as you may have noticed, a little uh, unique detail over there is the balcony in this one bedroom is not directly off of the living room. It's actually directly off of the one bedroom. We designed that way, of course, so that if you do have little ones that you're traveling with, if they are asleep or you have friends that you don't want to disturb, there are two ways to enter that balcony so you don't have to worry about waking anyone up. The other cool thing is out on the railings of the balcony, you can see there is a little hidden Mickey adorning that railing. And then on the other room when you're walking through as well, there's both that Mickey and that Minnie mimicking what I showed you on the carpet earlier as well. Here inside the actual bedroom, you'll notice that we do have another hidden Mickey. It is my favorite of the Mickeys. It is right here on the actual splash of the backboard. We have obviously an elegant theming in this room, yet we've still managed to go ahead and hide the mouse. We have indeed. So as we walk through our next doors over here, we're going to be heading into the actual bathroom. Now the bathroom is in different phases. You'll notice this when you go in the deluxe studio as well. Um, there is a lot of privacy. If you are traveling with people that aren't family members, maybe they're just friends, someone can be taking a bath while someone else is getting ready or taking a shower in the next room because you can close the doors. You can actually do that as well. And one great feature about those doors is if you, you can move them with one hand, they are activated so that both open with just um, one hand. Pa, pa, pa. <laughs> That's a good boomerang. <laughs> Come on in, y'all. We're going to walk right on through here, and then I'm going to give you some free space to roam. Wow, this is so big. Oh, that 
tail is beautiful too. Ooh, nice lighting tail. Oh my goodness. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty folks, so we are going to have a chance to roam and take as many photos and videos as you'd like in just a moment. I do want to point out one final thing on the actual tour portion of the actual rooms. Um, so of course, just like always, our members are always looking to save. They're always looking to be as efficient as possible and to save as much money as possible when it comes to their actual stay. So, most of our members will pack a little bit less on their actual vacations. Reason being is, behind those doors in that closet, there is a washer and dryer so that they can go ahead and do their laundry throughout their trip so that they can pack a little bit less, save some money on that, uh, those suitcase prices at the actual airlines. Other great thing about these accommodations, little table over here as you enter. This is a big deal, especially for any of you that have big families. Um, when you come in from a long day at the parks, you could go ahead, you could put down your wallets, put down your magic bands, put down everything so that the next day when you're ready to leave, it's all there. You don't have to scramble around wondering where it is. So a really nice feature as well as the uh, hangers behind the door, because I don't know if you knew this, but it's Florida, y'all. It rings, unpredictably. <laughs> um, so you can actually go ahead and you can hang up your ponchos, you can hang up your jackets, your wet clothes and things like that, or you can just throw them in the dryer. Either way, it works for you, and our members find it really nice, really easy, and really efficient. So the other thing that they do love is the type of accommodation and the option that they have. So they can, of course, get a one-bedroom. If they do have a larger party size with them, they could get a three-bedroom grand villa. But if they don't exactly have 12 people with them, they could just get what we call a lock-off. A lock-off turns a one-bedroom and a deluxe studio into a two-bedroom villa so that they can bring a few extra people with them but never be too far away. And it's really, really easy to access the other room. You could, of course, go out in the hallway or you could just open this door. And with that being said, I invite you to roam around the one-bedroom but also roam inside of our deluxe studio as well and see all that waits for you at Riviera. So enjoy, and when it's time to head back on over, I'll let you know when we're going to round up and head on out. Enjoy Riviera, y'all. And I'll be really fair, you have about three minutes. Nope. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. That's no, okay. Hi. Hi. So there's actually a different art. I'll pull that down for you. So you have Pascal and a bunch of wood, uh, woodland creatures in there. Really great thing as well. Um, in this room, one of my favorite things is the curtains actually have the giant RR stitched into there as well to create its own pattern. And you've got your hidden Mickey on the railing over here. And of course, this piece of artwork I absolutely love. A lot of people think it's The Little Mermaid, but it's actually based off of Cars, uh, specifically Cars 2. You can see Lightning McQueen here, and you can see the outline of a, um, the radiator of the car as well, which is really cool. Now this is the deluxe studio. This one does sleep um, up to five plus an infant. Of course, we always say plus an infant. Um, these pull down into a bed just like in the other room. You have your other bed here and two on this bed. And then the nice thing about, um, I don't know if y'all have ever been on a Disney cruise. My favorite part about the rooms in the Disney Cruise Line is you could hide your bags. Um, you can actually put them underneath this bed as well, which is really, really nice. And nice and efficient. Is, um, at the foot of the bed, drawers, those drawers, drawers. So there's storage there as well. So there's storage there as well as in the uh, coffee table. Those drawers. Thank you. Okay.